What's going on, everybody? Let's jump into this Innistrad block Supreme Draft, of which we know there will be no cues. Drog Skull Reaver? This was legit one of my favorite cards when Dark Ascension came out. This card was bananas. It was basically a 6-5 uh, lifelinker that drew you two cards when it attacked. Um, it's very similar to Consecrated Sphinx in that way. They can kill it, but five toughness man I'm gonna take it that that dude is bananas and I will build around this guy all day what else do we take uh tragics I mean so this leaves us in a blue or a black which is really rough but I guess we can fix a little bit I don't know man I'm definitely not passing a drug skull reaver like that just sounds crazy it's probably tragic slip yeah I'll take a tragic slip Liliana! Whoa, that would be way more exciting if this was not a <sighs> Phantom Draft. Uh, why is it having to draft two the first booster? Uh, this is a Supreme Draft. All packs you're drafting two. And you're not drafting with anyone else. You take two packs from every pack and there are 18 packs. So you end up with 36 cards. Um, Bonds of Faith is good. So is Liliana. I think we just take Liliana and Bonds of Faith, right? Oh, uh, Unbearer Wrath actually could be very good with Drog Skull Reaver. Alright, I can get behind it. Where are my Lingering Souls at? We could just be Black-White splashing for this. We could just be Black-Blue splashing for this. Black-White's probably better, though. We got this guy. Um, This guy's fine. It's a 2-2 two -two for, two, for 5 that uh, kills a dude when he comes into place. Presumably. Destroy a creature. If a creature was human, you gain life equals toughness. Death's Caress is very good. Let's just take the Death's Caress. Um, this is a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, that's actually fine. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> We're very clearly black here. I like Elgod Inquisitor because it makes a 1-1. One, one. It's a 2-2 two, two lifeling and when it dies you make it get a guy. Uh, Niblis is fine. Hmm. I don't really want another 5 drop this early. Take the Inquisitor. I don't know. Oh, Mona the Unhallowed is fantastic. And a, a snap first, a snap pickable here. That's an easy choice. Oh, what up, Jimmy? Voiceless Spear. Oh, it's probably just dead weight, right? Mausoleum Guard's also really good. 2-2 two, two for 4, but when it dies, you make 2-1-1s. One, I'm going to take the Guard. Oh, Grim Flare. That's kind of cool. This is the Eldrazi set. Hmm. 3-2 for 4, tap a creature when it attacks. It's not bad. Graph Rats could transform if we get Midnight Scavengers. Hmm. Chill at the hospital. Hope you're alright, buddy. Um... I have to take a picture of Hunter and Wally because they're being real cute right now. Oh my goodness gracious.
Okay. Son had an MRI waiting for him to wake up now. Jimmy, I hope everything's okay. I'm going to take this guy because I just think it's the one of the better picks in the pack. And I'll take the Graph Rats because we have no two drops. Oh my god, there's so many fours and fives, man. Um, Midnight Haunting is actually great. Let's take a Midnight Haunting. What does Grimoire do? Discard a card, put a study counter on it. Sure, remove three study counters. Put all creature cards from all graves on the battlefield under your control. Is that good? That seems pretty good. We're going to try it and see if it's good. Where are my cheaper creatures at? Olivia's Dragoon's nice. Oh, we are stream rating. Dang it, I forgot to I forgot to start it up first. This is a 1-2 when it dies, you get a 3-2. And if you have Delirium, it's actually a 4-2. It's not bad for 3. It might just be Dragoon, and then we can pick up more uh, Madness cards. Uh, this is all four Innistrad sets. Yeah, you can see the packs. We have Eldritch Moon Innistrad, Shadows over Innistrad, and Dark Ascension. Um, <clears throat> I'll just take the the one the one two that makes another dude. Oh, what up, Alistair Stone? Another Mona the Unhallowed and a Geist of Saint Traft. Screeching Bat is also pretty sweet. You make this a five five, and then you can switch it back. To a 2 2 flyer. 2 2 intimidates good, but I don't love <clears throat> double white. It's a little rough. Yeah, I kind of like Avacyn Priest, a priest, and also like Screeching Bat. I don't know if I want Moan here because you do have a bunch of four drops, and it's not great with Grimoire. I'm gonna take the Avacynian Priest and the Bat for now. Uh, Throttle's good. Neg four, Neg four is pretty decent. <clears throat> uh, one one rats that actually what is bound actually can attack, can block, transfer, can transform, attach it to target creature, activate the spell. Yeah, actually, Bound by Moon Silver is very good. We're taking that. Probably just taking two removal spells here. Avacyn herself? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're taking that. We're also going to take uh, Giza's Bidding, which is basically Mode of the Unhallowed, but it doesn't have flashback. Instead, it has uh, Madness, so we can discard it to, like, Olivia's Dragoon or, uh, or Liliana herself. So that's pretty good. We don't have anyone to cast Drog Skull Reaver yet, but I'm hoping we can get one. Deck in Stone. That's pretty sweet. Deck and Stone killing anything is pretty nice. Tooth Collector is also pretty good if you have Delirium. Yeah, we're taking Tooth Collector and the deck. <coughs> There's a lot of playable cards in this. This is pretty fun. I'm liking this so far. Midnight Scavengers is decent. I mean, it's a 3-3 it's a three, three for 5 that returns a creature to your hand. I also like Wretched Griff if we somehow manage to uh, splash things effectively. Um,
Uh, I'm gonna take Wretched Griff just in case. These are my blue splashes. See, this pack's pretty rough. Seasons Past is fantastic. <clears throat> Target player discards a card. Yeah. Two spirit tokens, but they cost five mana. I don't know if I love it. Heirloom could be fine when the creature dies. It's actually neglected heirloom is probably pretty decent. <coughs> um <laughs> probably steering clear of I guess it doesn't matter what we take at this point, because like they're all gonna be full. I'll just take the two drop. Spell Queller. That's a cool guy. 2-2 two, two Flyer for 3 is pretty standard. I, I like Lone Rider, actually. Let's take a Lone Rider. Uh, zombies you control have Menace. Exile a creature card from Graveyard Credit 2-2 two, two Zombie. Yeah, that's actually not bad. Might just be another Graph Rats. <clears throat> and we already have Vessel. I don't think we're playing Vessel. Our deck is already pretty sizable. I don't care about Desperate Sentry. Yeah, I mean, as far as this pack goes, I think it's just second Graph Rats. Ooh, Victim of Night. And a second Mausoleum Guard that makes two tokens? It's pretty decent. I'll take a Victim and a Mausoleum. Victim of Night, not as good in this set, because there are a ton of vampires, werewolves, and zombies, but... <clears throat> Man, my kingdom for a Traveler's Amulet. So you have each player's or gen players of key creation deals damage you go to the number of curses attached to them, so they take one to turn. I think it's just other tragic slip. <coughs> mm hmm Westvale Abbey? Oh, that seems fun. <clears throat> it's flying as long as their former characters in your graveyard. Sacrifice a creature, put a 1 on counter each vampire you control. I don't know how many vampires we have. I don't think there's a lot. I think it's like two. I think it's like, uh, this turns into a vampire. And I think we have Olivia's Dragoon. It's not a lot. Yeah, Vessel's good for Delirium, but we don't have a ton of Delirium cards. Yeah, Unruly Mob is kind of meh. I'm definitely taking Westvale Abbey because I feel like if we're not playing three colors, we could definitely play Westvale Abbey here. <clears throat> Moral and the Drifter. This is the last pack. Um, Call the Bloodline's very good. Oh, and we can also take Choked Estuary if we really want to play the Drugs Call River, which I kind of do. Yeah, we're taking. Let's take Call and let's take Choked Estuary. That seems pretty sweet. All right. <clears throat> So, this deck has a lot of removal and 27 cards. All right. 28 cards. 29 cards. 28 cards. Okay. All right. We're playing Avacyn. We'll play Scavengers. Throttle is probably... Throttle and Victim. I mean, they're both removal, but, like, this is also five mana. It kills any creature. So. Grimoire seems too good. Both of these are great. Both Mausoleum guards are great. These are all card advantage cards. This is also removal. Two, two. <clears throat> These are all good. I could probably take out one rats. I just don't care about a rats. Take out a tragic slip. We have a lot of removal here. 
Excuse me. <clears throat> ba -da 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 this is kind of like removal. We have bound. Liliana. Tooth collector still can kill a guy. I guess there's a good amount of rule. <clears throat> I could see trying to take, I could see maybe taking out Heirloom. This is 12 creatures, but also we have Giza's Bidding, Mona the Unhallowed, and Midnight Haunting. And I think Heirloom just gets better when you have uh, this many flyers. Maybe we just play it like this. If you flip Westvale Abbey, I'll donate five bucks. That seems a little hard. I already got Grimoire of the Dead. It only takes three study counters, which is not a lot. Maybe Unburial Rites can go. Actually, Unburial Rites seems pretty good. Like, just being able to get back Drog Skull Reaver or... See, the only thing I want to get back is, is Drog Skull Reaver, really. And we already have Grimoire. I'm going to take Unburial Rites out, and this could be our deck. I'm going to play two of these. <clears throat> so I'm going to take out two of these... And add one of these. So this is 7 white, 8, 9, 10. So this is what, 14, 15, 16, 17? Yeah, that seems fine. <coughs> it's three three islands, three blue sources for, uh, for two blue cards, which I think is fine, and they're both like seven drops. Can you flip Lone Rider? Um, maybe not, actually. I mean, we have Call the Bloodline, which makes life linkers. We have... That's probably it. Drog Skull Reaver, but I think at that point it's probably not super relevant. That was a good noise. No, it's not likely. I think it's just maybe being another victim of night. <clears throat> Alright. And by another victim of night, I mean a victim of night. Uh, we're not playing Westvale on our three-color deck, no. <clears throat> oh, that's, that's fucking amazing. I click on planes and now I have to discard. Fantastic. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, that's fucking wonderful, dude. Absolutely fantastic. Wow. I hope everybody heard me click on the planes. The audible click from my mouse as I have to... Pass my turn. Do nothing. Yep, that was cool. <sighs> it's really frustrating. <clears throat> hey, how did you lose first round? Well, game one. I was unable to play a planes. Because Magic Online is a very responsive client to your clicks and things. Yep, that guy's good too. <clears throat> so that is a five five, Avison's a four four. Still might be fine, but Yep, that's a good one. 
I will not block. I'm just gonna pass here. This guy's menace, or oh, this was the instigator gang. That's the good one. Um, jeez. I guess we're just playing this. I, I thought this was the one that turns on like a six-four. <clears throat> sure, two ones, huh? Because this guy seems good. <clears throat> So it's their turn. Their trigger goes on first. Mine resolves. They can kill my flyers. That actually kind of sucks. And yeah, we're just going to take... This is actually... This this end of this is actually fucking hilarious. So literally, it's just been uh, turn four, uh, turn three uncommon, turn four rare, turn five rare, turn six rare. Oh my god, please fucking shut up. <laughs> Jesus. I have to mute this chat because I can't actually fucking work and focus here. Okay. <clears throat> Well, if we let this flip, they get a 5-5 five five that attacks as a an 8-5 for 4 mana. Yeah, I'm just going to scoop here. Like, there's nothing we can do. <laughs> like, there's, there's no comeback here. Yeah. Nice stick. Like, it doesn't help that we missed a land drop, but it, I mean, I kind of want to take Victim of Night and bring Throttle in because Throttle's going to kill his 2-3 and his Werewolf, whereas the other one is not, so. Ah. <sighs> Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, Katie, my dear. Hello. All right, let's do this. Now all we need is land drops. <clears throat> Any kind of land drops. Any kind at all. Mm, yeah, that's... That's what I thought. All right, well, let's get rid of Moan. I heard you getting big mad. Yeah, I'm like I'm like just arguing with someone, and I'm I just need to stop. But it's like it's really frustrating because they posted a Steven Crowder interview with Rudy Giuliani, and they like <laughs> made it like as like a source. They're like, "This is look at this information." I'm like, "It's Steven Crowder, and it's Rudy Giuliani." Like, do you, you don't understand how that's like the exact opposite of a source? And they're like, but where's the, where is it untrue? And I'm like, oh, fuck, this is painful to like, yep, okay, cool. So remember, remember that time I was like, how did you lose round one? Well, you see, you, it's like, okay, cool. <clears throat> Oh, 
I'm not gonna block here. Yep. There we go. Look at that. We can play Magic the Gathering once more. Thank you. So I can't tap either of these. Oh, no, I can't. Wait, yes, no, non-human. Yeah, I'm right. I'm, I know Thank what I'm saying. You. What's going on here? Billy with a gifted sub. Oh, look, Katie, welcome back, my dear. Welcome back. After many minced, minced months. Missed months. That's hard to say. Ah. <clears throat> <sighs> Really, I've been alright, buddy. How about you? 4-4, four, four, as initial cost, exile a creature from a graveyard. Sure. You're welcome. <coughs> Sack a dude. If we can hit one more land, we might actually be fine. Hmm. Undying seems good. Full mana lightning axe. Well, Liliana dies, but it was a two for one, so that's fine, right? Midnight Scavengers, you don't get anything. Oh, you get Avicen's Pilgrim back. Avicen's Avicinian Priest. Yeah, we're probably just going to play Avicen here. Avicen herself. What's the format? Supreme in a Strahd Draft, just like it says in the title. Yep. Oh, we don't have enough. I am not smart at all. We couldn't play any of these cards. That's terrible. That's actually terrible. Apparently I am also a bit slow, and I'm just going to take six here. I officially graduated yesterday in the middle of... How... How quick was your... I feel like you were... How... What? That's crazy. Congrats, Billy. That's amazing, dude. Okay, so when we block here, we take four, five, six. Yep, I'm just gonna... Yep, this is a fun round. I had a good time. <laughs> I'm really loving magic recently. Have you guys... Can you guys tell? Okay, so let's see if we can hit lands, unlike we did in game two, and let's see if we can not, you know, have magic literally skip our turn when we hit a land drop. Music Manly, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, my dude. You don't really acknowledge me? What does that even mean? I don't even know what that means. I literally responded to the first question you asked, which was, what format is this? I'm also playing literally Magic the Gathering and Stream Raiders, and I'm, like, trying to communicate with chat. Like, what? I don't know what that means. One point five gigs of RAM. Is that how much it's using? I have no idea why it would use that much. That is, That does seem like a good amount. For me, it's only using 600 megabytes. That's not a tremendous amount. <clears throat> you too. So 
So Grafrat's it's gonna take off two, so it's gonna cost four if we want to play a Grafrat, or uh, if we want a Wretched Griff onto Grafrat. Uh -huh. Is this a trade? Like this just? Mm, no, I'll take two. Pretty sure we're just playing bat here. Solid Esper matchup here. Oh, uh, I don't have music because you can't have music on Twitch, otherwise you get uh, copyright strikes against you, and then your videos get either taken down or uh, or your Twitch channel gets warnings. Uh, I did not get any DCMA warnings though, like I because I just don't play music. Like I don't because I also upload my stuff to YouTube, so there's no reason to play music because then I can't monetize. <laughs> they do not strike me for mattress copyright, thankfully. We don't want to do that. We just want a wretched griff, right? We could also put the this on this, block with it, and then wretched griff next turn. Hmm... I mean, like, also, if people want to just play music, like, you can just play music on... Like, that's what I'm, I also don't understand about playing music, right? Like, if I'm playing music on the stream, you could also just play music on your own computer or whatever, your sound system, and you can just play whatever you want, and it's the same thing. It's still music, but, like, you get to choose what it is, so I don't... I, I never understood the appeal of, like, playing music. I'm just going to put this on here, and we're going to keep Midnight Haunting up. When a crypt creature trans oh when a crypt creature transforms that's much different. We're just going to block here. <laughs> Protection from non-humans. Must be nice. <clears throat> well... What if it's your enemies that you created? I actually don't know. Like, I mean, this stuff, I don't know the ins and outs. I just don't risk it. Like, there's just no point for me. With 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 Twitch, Twitch streaming and YouTube being, like, sources of income for me, like, I have no benefit to risking it whatsoever. Fascinating. Oh no, I definitely I'm I'm share. I've shared before. I've done some sharing in my day.
So here's something interesting. We can say no to this. Land. Nice. Uh, we can equip you. I'm just going to victim of night this. Because now we can actually flip this next turn. <clears throat> and then it's a 5-5 five, five flyer. Yep, that's pretty good. Transform that. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Oh no! Slipperino. This actually might be better in the graveyard. I'm glad they didn't block actually because this gives first strike too. Oh wow, that's bananas. Yeah, we're definitely gonna bound by moon silver that thing now. Got a foil arid mesa, a an Asian time spiral. Not sure which language. A lion's eye diamond, custom grab bag from Missouri on from Teacher Missouri on Twitter. Wow, that's insane. That is definitely a custom grab bag, my dude. I'm at six life though. Let's let's be careful. They have one card. One, two, three, one, two, we have three. So we can bound and keep up. So this is three. Just two two on two two? Sure. I'm tempted to just play Wretched Griff here and sack the bat. Deck and stone seems nice. Okay, I like it. I like what's happening here. It does cost three to equip now, so that's sad. So this is eight, so they have to block at least one of these dudes. And we have two removal spells, so we can... Morbid, Morbid and Revolt are kind of confusing. Like, they both trigger when uh, something leaves the battlefield. Uh, morbid triggers when any creature dies. Wow, that's pretty good. And, um... So, they're just dead, though, right? They have no cards. And Revolt triggers when a permanent leaves your battlefield. So, similar but different. This is a big old griff coming down the line. Going to I don't like I don't think I love Victim of Night. I guess it kills dearly departed. But then like do we really want that in the graveyard anyway? I don't know. I've gotta go make dinner. It was awesome catching a live stream. Take care. Billy, have a good have a good have a good evening. I miss you, my dude. Hopefully you'll be back soon and you'll have uh, 
more normalcy in your day to day. Are you coming? Are you moving? Let me know if you're moving home. Like home being the U.S. I'll keep this hand. We have a Dragoon and a Giza's Bidding. That's pretty good. It's all up in the air right now, but should we get resolved in the next couple? Dude, I'm, I'm looking forward. I look forward to hearing about it. Feel free to just message me on Facebook too if you don't uh, if you don't catch me online. Ooh, choked estuary. That's awkward. Thank you. I don't have another song. Billy with the gifted subs, buddy. I appreciate you, man. Thank you, my dude. Always a Thank pleasure. You. Billy's a saint. Thank you. What is a potential secret layer that you would most want to see? <laughs> Fucking like, if I'm like being super honest, I'd be like, Thank you. Uh, a Marvel collaboration secret layer where where there's actual Marvel magic cards. That would be the sickest. Thank you. Ugh, God, you real and Let's come play tapped. I actually don't love these. Alternatively, there could be a, uh, I'm just blocking here. I love the idea of getting Giza's bidding down next turn, but I mean, I, I, we can just call the bloodline or play Mausoleum Guard if we hit a land. Or we can play Liliana. <laughs> That's good too. What about a secret layer WWE? I'm not a huge wrestling fan. I don't have anything against wrestling. It's just not really for me. I used to watch wrestling with my dad a ton. And then at some point I just kind of stopped. Like it never, never, you know, I just didn't anymore. But, that being said, you know. Oh, we can also Liliana get rid of Giza's bidding. That's, that's, that's bananas. What are your brief thoughts on Microsoft buying Bethesda and most likely no future Elder Scrolls games on Nintendo Sony consoles? Uh, I don't think that's going to be the case at all. Um, I I do not have an Xbox. I'm a PS4 fan, but I mean, like, I don't. I've never played. I've never played a single Bethesda game on a console. I I'm a, I'm a PC player. So there's that. Okay. Would you like to cast the spell? I would love to. You wouldn't buy a rock or stone club. No, those guys were after my time. My time was like Ultimate Warrior, Sting, um, you know, Rowdy Rowdy Piper, Jake the Snake Roberts. Like I was, it, I was a way more old school WWF um, viewer. And. Um, that that those wrestling the, yeah WCW like WWF yeah those that was more my speed and uh, so like Stone Cold and The Rock were actually after I stopped watching so I don't have any sort of nostalgia for them but anyway as, as for the Bethesda thing I think it's great um, because Bethesda are uh, okay so here's the thing Microsoft already owns Obsidian who made Fallout New Vegas and now that they own Bethesda, they own Fallout. So maybe looking, if I was a Microsoft exec and I was like, let's look at the popularity of Fallout New Vegas, which is one of the most popular Fallout franchises. I wouldn't only say fran fran one of those popular Fallouts in the franchise, let's say. Um, I would say, hey, let's give Obsidian another Fallout. Didn't Obsidian also do Outer Worlds? So I mean, like they already have the cred from both Fallout New Vegas and Outer Worlds.
So like it, it you know, it's like it's like it's like a no brainer, right? But as far as like Xbox exclusives, like I don't just because I, I don't think just because Microsoft owns Bethesda. Okay, so A, just because Microsoft owns Bethesda doesn't mean it's going to be Microsoft exclusives. That seems a, like a terrible business model, to be honest. Secondly, if Microsoft owned Obsidian when Outer Worlds came out and Outer Worlds still came out for, like, PlayStation, then there's no reason to even, like, think that would be the case. Like, it would almost be, I'm going to be honest, it would almost be criminal if Microsoft could just buy whatever company they want and make those games Xbox exclusive. Like, that's, that's just no way that's going to be a thing. Good grief. A bunch of six drop uh, token, like, you know what I'm saying. I don't think anyone who's who's putting out an early report about that has any sort of bearing to like make a factual uh, assessment of that. Like it's just not a thing. Like no one knows that. And like Outer Worlds came out for PS. Does when did Microsoft buy Obsidian? Okay, so 2018. November 2018. Outer Worlds. Outer Worlds came out in October 2019, so a year later, and it was on Switch, it was on PS4, it was on Xbox. Like a game being a game being made by a company that's owned by a like Microsoft or Sony, just because the the company that makes that that game is owned by them doesn't mean the game is going to be an exclusive. Ownership of the game of the company is not what makes it an exclusive. Like that would be insane. Uh, one, two. Oh, we need a blue. This should have been blue. Ha, 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 ha. Secondly, and like, alternatively, like I said, I play every Elder Scrolls and every Fallout on my computer. Yeah, you keep making those making those zombos. Yes, they made right, Sony made well, okay, so A Sony didn't make them, Netherworlds did, right? Or Insomnia, right? I don't know if I want to flip this. One, two, three, four, five. I think I don't. But again, Sony can. So the the, the thing is, like, it's Sony didn't. It, Sony didn't make an exclusive because they made it, right? Like, we're we're conflating two things. We're saying if a company makes a game, that game will be an exclusive, and that's not true. A company has to be like, okay, we're making this game as an exclusive. That's the difference, right? So they can make three more tutus, or they can make one more tutu, and we can death caress it. And like, the thing is, like, uh, Bethesda, Fallout, and Elder Scrolls are already pre-established franchises that have been on multiple consoles. To just deny those players things would be like the the worst looking. It's it's optically it's terrible. That's a terrible decision. I guess this guy can. Get float? No, they don't have any cards in hand. Oh, they don't have any cards in hand? Well, that's pretty wild. Three, four, five, six, seven. 
So we block here, we block here, we take five. We're basically trading a 3-3 three, three for a 2-2, two, two, but then two more future 2-2s. Two, I, I think that's fine. Because now we can block two and then we take four instead of taking five. Okay, that's pretty good. Well, I don't really want to take nine. Whenever it's not a U control, right? Okay, sure. Three, four, five, six, seven. No, because if we hit a land, we definitely want to play Drog Skull Reaver. Oh, yes. Oh, boy. So we can go block, block. Oh, yeah, and we, this guy has, like, infinite lifelink. And double strike, so we kill this guy before uh, damage. I like it. fucking top deck dude <laughs> oh my god are you kidding me what an absolute joke that's incredible hilarious uh I'm not gonna flip this oh my god And we're going to attack because if, if they have to block and we can like gain two, draw two cards. I mean, this is a trade. I'll take it. Okay, sure. Yep, had to be done. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, guard, and call the bloodline. <laughs> Game pitch, Fallout New Zealand, the world has fallen to nuclear war, you wake up like normal. Life in New Zealand remains unchanged due to its isolation as policies and geography. You recreate Lord of the Rings shot for shot and then watch your masterpiece. Wow, that's beautiful. Well, we're not flipping anymore because this guy is... Oh, Moan seems good. One, two, three, four. Like, I mean, our flyers are going to literally get us through this game. But man, Evil Twin, the literal top deck after I after I played Drog Skull Reaver is pretty hilarious. Yeah, I think this game. Is... 
two, two swamps for me. <laughs> we both drew two lands off our Drog Skull Reavers. We mentioned Freshly Brewed a while back, and I had feedback about the episode I was going to drop in chat here, but it was too long, so I sent some tweets instead. This episode was the best yet, though. Everyone should check it out. Yeah, you guys should check out the Freshly Brewed episode where me and Rob brewed some Marvel cards up. It was pretty fun. And I hope you guys enjoy it. So Mediocre Magic Man said, Love it, but I think you have the wrong idea on the, the, Walking, Death back, the Walking Dead backlash. Yes, there's a small number of people complaining about non-magic IPs. Most people I know just don't like that by being purely non-magic IPs, the cards are printed directly onto the reserve list. Yeah, that doesn't bother me. I don't know, like... It's a collectible card game, like... You had a whole week to buy it. I picked up a couple of them. And you had a whole week to buy it. Right? And if you don't, if you don't buy it, like, it's... You can still get on the secondary market, like... Magic is a collectible card game. Like, I don't know. Just doesn't... Like, not everyone has the right to every single Magic product that exists, right? I don't have the right to own a Lotus, so I can't complain when it's out, when it's when it's expensive, or when the price keeps going up, you know, like, I, I don't like it, but it's not my, I'm not entitled to it, you know what I mean, like, I don't know, so that's just my weird opinion. Uh, it's frustrating to see the mistakes of the past get repeated, especially when they just established a way to do such crossovers that don't have that problem. I do agree that they should have been done more like the Godzilla cards, where you have the ability to, like, make different ones. Like, you can make, like, you know, because, like, none of the... Like, Brokos is actually a Godzilla. And then, like, if you wanted to reprint a Brokos, you still can. So, like, Rick Grimes could be a car, but then it could be, like, you know, Strom Kirk Lieutenant or something. So. So, we could just, like, discard a card to call... And then we'd have five guys to their four, but then their blocks are very good. Like three, three on three, 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 three on three, three on two, two, three, three on two, two, three, three on two, 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 two on one, one. And then if they have a removal for like Wretched Griff, if they drew one of the two cards, then we just were in really not great shape. So. Yeah, it still seems fine. Morbid. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. And our battle's ready over in... Uh... Alright, so we take three, four, five, six. Yep, they go to one. We didn't even, we didn't even moan, because, like... We just have to get one flyer through. And I think that's fine. Oh, they conceded. I will return. Yeah, and whatever. Uh, were they real? Spe oh, they actually had Emrakul. Wow. What do they have? Creature, instant, land. That's three. So that's it. So Emrakul was ten, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my God! They needed one land there, and they could have played Emrakul. Oh my God, dude. That's wild. Oh, no, okay, maybe, like, maybe, maybe, yeah, it's not the end of the world, but it's just really frustrating to set up there and then do that, so. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. I don't, I don't begrudge anyone for complaining. I personally just don't think it's that big of a deal. Uh, if they just did commanders, if they just did a, uh, okay, so hold on. It's frustrating to see the mistakes of the past get repeated, especially when they just established a way to do such crossovers that doesn't have that problem. If they just did commander set with some new cards and did a secret layer of the crossover versions, it would be fine. Uh, also, you know, Dr. Doom has to be in the next one, right? <laughs> oh my God, I would love to make a Doom card. So that seems, I'm 100% all about it. Thank you. All right, let's play our last round. Our deck seems good. I think we just got wrecked first game. 
And I was also a little tilted. And uh, Thank you. our opponent had a really good, really good start game one. We missed the land drop because of, uh, I don't know, Magic Online. Like, right, Magic Online registered the, the F6 I did, but it didn't register the click I did to play my land. Um, this seems fine. We need another black. And it's a little slow, but I don't think this format's necessarily super fast. I'm starting a Not the Plague squad on bottom. <laughs> I don't even see you. I've been focused on trying to design villain cards. I made my idea of the Infinity Gauntlet and I've been working on making Thanos. I saw you. Your Infinity Gauntlet was... It was a little wordy. I was like, oh my god, this is such a long card. How would it... Also, uh, Super Fritz, I saw your Infinity Gauntlet, and I, the one the one thing I thought was that it should destroy your creatures as well. Because even though we want it to only destroy the opposing creature, it, it is going to destroy everything. And it reminds me more of, like, World Breaker. Not World Breaker, World... It's got world in title. It's a sword. Uh, world Slayer. Yeah, it's this one. Oh god, that's so big. Uh, whenever a equipped creature does combat damage to a player, destroy all permanents other than World Slayer. So it kills everything. Yeah, you guys knew. Grimoire of the Dead. Destroy Mundos. <laughs> oh my god, there's no way that's... Oh my god, it's literally called Destroy Mundos in Spanish. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god, that's the best thing I've seen today. Today, destroy a Mondo's. <laughs> oh, J bro, what up, my dude? Land swamp thing. Just a land swamp thing. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm like losing my mind over Destroy Amundos. That's hilarious. Ooh, Civilized Scholar is good. <laughs> oh man, that's bananas draw. That's like the evil twin equivalent. All right, kill your little guy. What's the destroy thing? What do you It's it's the the the, the sword uh World Slayer. It's a sword called World Slayer. And the Spanish version is called Destroy Amundos. Hmm. Would love a fourth land. I don't like missing two land drops. It's not really my ideal turn. But, uh, you know, we'll see. Swamp would be preferable. I want to play Liliana, make them sack their geese with no pressure. Guys, place your units. These level 20 spiders are going to kill the crap out of us. I'm getting real tired of this 21 allies, guys, in six minutes. Actually, that seems pretty good. But for real, you guys should definitely place your units. Land? Can we get a land? You know what? I'll take it. I'm not... I 
think we actually want to attack here. If they block, I just want to play Grimoire of the Dead here. Oh, epic paladin boy. Also, guys, if you're like going toward the bottom or toward the middle, make sure we're fortified in those areas. Because if you go into the middle and there's like 12 bad guys to like, you know, six, six good units, like you're just going to get crushed. So, I mean, I always think it's worth it to just put all the guys in the same spot and then we just, we just plow through the whole board. Haunted Fengraph, eh? Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's 37 degrees Fahrenheit. 37 degrees? Tonight, expect a low of 19 degrees. A low of 19 tonight, guys. One second. Second black is really uh discard two cards return from the grave to the battlefield. Tapped. Um, I kinda just want to deck and stone this guy and attack and then also And maybe like discard moan for grimoire. Christina Ricci was amazing in discard moan. Wow. Wow. That's something, man. Crack clue before you, after you play your card for the turn. Not great, Bob. Uh, discard moan here. Like if we have another black, I'd rather play Liliana or Victim. Uh, Innistrad did not come back. These are Supreme Innistrad drafts, as you can tell from the title of this stream. It 
So we can just discard like victim and then discard another card and then it's Oh, it's gonna take another turn because we actually have to discard the three cards. Yep, I'll take it. So Supreme Drafts are, um, you get 18 packs. Uh, there's no one else you're drafting with. Um, and you take two cards out of every pack. So I look at one pack, I take two cards. Look at the next pack, take two cards. You only take two cards out of every pack, and then at the end you have 36 cards. And you build your deck from that. Uh, Supreme Drafts came back mm, this Wednesday, so this card's very good. I mean, he lets you loot and he makes three twos. I almost feel like Wharf Infiltrator should be, instead of like Looter core in most cubes. Sure. Discarding a Liliana, guys. That's wild. <sighs> so it's awkward because we want to play the Swamp to Victim, but we also just want to discard these two. What do we get back? Nibbles of Mist, Towergeist. Reaper and Civilized Scholar and Tooth Collector. So we get five guys back. And I think we're just going to pass here. One, two, three, four, five. We take five. We go discard, activate, and we're actually in good shape, I think. We could actually go discard block here or block here probably just here right I don't know I haven't set the dog came up since I made my new desk <laughs> so I, I'd like to set it up again I just haven't had a good set I just it was like kind of like just sitting on my desk like across it and I didn't love that setup. I swear, I swear if they have a way to deal with my Grimoire of the Dead, my artifact in their main deck, and they happen to draw it, I'm going to be a little upset. Thank you. Eric, welcome back, my dude. Thank you for the resub, buddy. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Okay, so they're going to tap their things. Catalog, draw two, then discard. Okay. Oh, okay. Can you discard a creature? 
Are they looking for a removal for Grimoire? Do they have like, I have an artifact removal spell in my deck, even though this is not really super great in this format. They're gonna have some sort of activate Grimoire of the Dead. Oh God. Does it say do it anytime you can uh, sorcery their black in addition to remove three study counters? End of turn. Oh, oh. Oh boy. Remove three study counters and sack it. Put all creature cards from all graves on the battlefield. This seems really good. Let's get in there for two now. So the thing is, like, we can actually get back Tooth Collector to kill their Wharf Infiltrator, which is pretty sweet. Wow, this seems good. Um, put all creature cards from all graves on the battlefield under control. Their black zombies and additional battle drives. I, I, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out, like, is there a way this can go wrong? I don't think so. You keep placing units underneath my mouse when I go to place a unit. Underneath underneath your mouse? <laughs> oh, man. So, like, you put your mouse on the board to, like, place a unit, and he puts a unit, like, right underneath it? Because that's kind of funny. All right. I mean, they have to come at me, right? You can't just not attack. Well, maybe you can, because, like, it's a bloodbath. We have 72 allies. I feel like we're I feel like we're doing well here, guys. I appreciate all of you. Okay. Warfy boy, 3-2 and 2-3. Yep. I mean, I guess we hope they don't have a sweeper or like a stifle effect. Oh, that's that's juicy. Uh, do we tap target creature? All right, it doesn't matter. I'd rather them attack, and we can figure out what's what's what. Uh, sure. Uh, okay. <gasps> oh my jeez. Oh boy. Three, two on you. Two two on you. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, are they gonna do some shenanigans? Sure. <laughs> also we have five card types in our graveyard, so Tooth Collector is now online. What does this do? Sacrifice another creature. It gets plus two. Active this morning. Okay, so wait. We can go. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. Yeah. I feel like our board is good. I don't know, man. Sack a creature and activate Avacyn. Because you can't... Oh, we just win the game. They didn't want to deal with that. What is this? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. This is 20? 20 damage? 21? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. S this is 20 exactly? 4, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. Wow, we had exactly 20. Hey, that's pretty good. Wow, Grimoire was friggin' amazing there. I'm really glad we got to activate it once. 
All right, we have nine minutes of this battle. Also, after this, I'm going to get out of here, but I am going to come back later tonight and do some more, do some more drafties. I'm going to stay six minutes after work just for the raid. Oh, I appreciate it. Man, that's awesome, dude. Music Manly, you are a saint. Also, we have 87 allies on this board. I think it's going to be a bloodbath. In our favor. Uh, Okay, I like this hand. I will keep it. Next turn we can equip. Turn after that we can wretched griff if we want to. Flying and prowess. Oh, I think we'll just play a bat. Trade? Tradesies? Trade arenas? No tradesies. Okay. Take the long way home. I do like playing Swamp, equipping Heirloom, and then flipping next turn to make an 8-8. It's pretty good. It also does look like they're color screwed here. no blocks. You know what? I'll take two. I don't think you're going to ninjutsu anything here. Okay. Oh, I, die. I think I like that too. I might be... Oh God, I'm real tempted to... The problem is we don't have anything else to flip this. So we're going to commit it. We're going to get in there for five. Okay. We take four, we go to 14. We flip this, it's an 8-8. Eight, eight. They have to have an answer, really. And then the heirloom is just plus three, plus three in first strike, which is... Pretty formidable. Man, I wish we had like Midnight Haunting. Or any three drop whatsoever, really. Curiosity. No, don't like that. He 
Yep, gossip and work. Give me, give me a tooth collector here. Yes. Transform all the things. Oh, okay. Okay. Interesting. I mean, they don't just take eight here, right? Like, that seems insane. And we're just attacking, because this is the only guy that, that we can block anyway. We can't block either the Flyers or the Wharf Infiltrator, so... If they want to trade here, it's the same as us blocking. And if they don't, they're taking aid, so... Yep, that seems about right. So, this is converted man cost three, this is two. So, we can either pay three or four for this right now. At this particular juncture. Oh god, I'm afraid of what's happening. I feel like maybe Mona was a was a better was a better plan than the than flipping. Oh, what up, Badger? Faith unbroken. It's really good. We have so much removal. Can I just find something to kill that thing? I don't really want to take eight here, but I also don't think I have an option. Chump blocking and discarding one does not seem like a winning plan here. Especially if we would if we draw like tragic slip, I want to be able to trigger. Yep, yeah. it's a really good turn. Make a three two, draw two cards, discard one, exile my guy, deal seven. Eight. <laughs> my anxiety that's what are you anxious about my dude what's got you what's got you anxious So that is a 4-3. Wretched Griff does block it. It's not very exciting, though. Are we dead here? No, I guess we can call the bloodline. 1-2. One, 1-2-3. Two. One, two, Activate bidding. Block this guy block here all right so we discard this for three we have three left over which means we can play call actually we can put this on here keep up bidding have two more blockers this guy gets through these two get through for three
Okay, let's see if it works, I guess. I have my doubts. I think we're dead here, bud. Let's see if we're dead. I have a bad feeling about it, but we'll see. Haunted Fengraf. We're going into combat. Fascinating. Okay, cast. Resolve. Can't fly. Okay. Go to blocks. Okay, we take three. Plus two, plus. Oh, negative four to all my guys. Sure. This card's not very good. Oh, fucking wonderful. So I lose my guy. Must be nice. Yep, we're just gonna go to the next game. This is kind of bullshit. <laughs> Alright. Kind of like throttle here, but like, I don't know if it's better than anything else. Yeah, I think the mistake was putting the thing on the, uh, just spending. Oh, that's uh, probably going to be too late. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, that's exciting. But then, like, they're probably just going to play a guy and transform it into a 2 3, I would imagine. All right, I got to go. If I stay too long at work, the alarm gets set in. Okay. Music Manly, I appreciate you, buddy. I'm sorry we couldn't finish this round faster. Uh, okay, so we can kill that, though. Thank you! Shua Garner, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back.
So this is what a... Yeah, sure. We're just going to block that guy. And that's how we two for one. I mean, our odds of uh, getting delirium seems pretty low. Oh, you have to, you have a, you have a, you're gonna, yeah, okay, sure. Sounds good. Oh, I see. Uh, the Supreme is literally how the draft works. It's a uh, Supreme draft. Were you not here when we did like the Supreme Ravnica drafts and the Supreme Modern Horizon drafts? I feel like we did a bunch of those. Uh, not blocking this, I'll just take two. Oh, you're literally just spending your turn pumping that guy. Uh, that's just fine. <laughs> I would love a blue mana. That would be... That would be a sweet... A sweet thing. That's pretty good. Yep, that's really good. They also have three minutes, we have 12, so that's cool. Good old Graph Rats. The question is, is Graph Rats better than just a 1-1 one -one from Call? I don't know. I hope we draw one of the two islands in the deck next turn. Are we trading? No, we're not trading. Fascinating. I'm sure you're going to put plus two, plus two on this guy. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm reading this chat, I'm just not really, uh... Okay, so this is where you attack and then you give my guy negative four, negative zero, right? Tungsten Zephyr with the gifted subs. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Oh, they just don't attack at all. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you. Okay, not what we're looking for. Thank you. Sure, this is where they this is where they cast it. Yep, okay. No, change your mind. Sure. I like how you to post blocks so that you don't even block the lifelinker, I guess. I don't. It seems amazing. What does this do when it flips? Wizards, you can equip plus two plus one when I'm flying. Yep, that card's fucking incredible. <laughs> it's just amazing. Oh boy. Sure. 
one card left and two minutes to win the game. Come on, something good. Nope, never, never good. I mean, I'll take a tragic slip. I'll take a uh, death's thing. I'll take victim of night. <laughs> I'll take bound. <laughs> like, I mean, there's like uh, island. It's like six different outs here. Yep, I'm just going to pass here. You gain two life, sure. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You have ten power and flying, so you just win next turn. Seems good. You got one 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 turn to find an answer. <laughs> the two fucking blue cards in the deck. Oh man, fantastic resource system. Coming through again, Magic the Gathering. Coming through again. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You know what to do. Manatraders.com. 15% off. NordVPN.org slash Frank 68% off. I'll see you next time.